going to do something just a little bit different. I was going to originally do a product review, and then I realized I don't have the actual products. I don't have the, I don't remember what brand it was, and I really don't want any of you to get the idea that I'm endorsing this product in any way, so instead I'm just going to talk about it and do some comparisons with a very similar product, since I obviously can't remember the brand name. I want to talk about kinesiology tape. This is KT tape, and I love KT tape because some people debate on whether or not it works, but I have had some success with it and alleviating some knee pain, um, and I know other members of Spintronics have had success with it and alleviating shoulder pain um, and pain on other parts of the body. So I do like KT tape, but it is a similar type of kinesiology tape I would like to talk about. I purchased this kine this kinesiology tape back last November, I think. So that would be like November 2019, right, as the season was starting to kick off. And I purchased it at Walmart on the clearance rack because, you know, I love clearance. And I, like I said, I do not remember the name. I just remember it was an orange package, I believe. And I don't know if Walmart even carries it anymore because I haven't been back there since. And it was kinesiology tape plus menthol. And in case you don't know, menthol is one of the active ingredients in Icy Hot. And I was like, oh, well, that sounds really, really nice. Menthol is also in like Vicks Vapor Rub and Mentholatum, if any of you guys know what that is. Um, and I was like, oh, this sounds great. So I'll put the tape on and it will activate the menthol and it will bring me some pain relief as well. And it came in a roll um, I think it came in like black and blue maybe. I got a roll that was uncut, um, whereas like these come in pre-cut strips. The roll I got was in uncut strip, like it was just in a big roll, it was uncut, and so you could cut your own lengths, which was nice, um, because I'm always finding myself with little pieces of chopped off ends whenever I use this to tape anything. Um, so I was like, oh, this is perfect. And I got it and I used it and I personally will put KT tape on at like the beginning of a rehearsal weekend and then I won't remove it until like Sunday night, Monday morning, whenever I decide to shower and peel it off in the shower. So I bought this product and I used it a couple of weekends and the first thing I knew I noticed was if I was kind of sweaty, if I was kind of gross, um, it didn't stick as well as I would like for it to stick. But that wasn't a big deal. Um, I know that sometimes once you put it on, you have to actually like rub your hand on the piece of skin it's on really hard to heat up the adhesive so that it sticks to you better. So after I figured that out, it stuck really well and ends would start peeling. But like that happens if you've ever used kinesiology tape, like you know that that happens pretty regularly. This stuff, though, um, like I said, I used it on my knee, and the taping I do on my knee is one I got from the KT Tape website, and I'm going to haul my knee up here so you can see. So if this is my knee, I'm going to take a strip here. It's going to go across, cross underneath my patella, and then down onto my shin on this side. Another piece is going to cross here, crisscross underneath my patella, and there, and then I'm going to take a strip, cut it into two, and I'm going to layer both of those on top of each other right underneath my patella. It gives it some extra support, especially since my knee is prone to buckling inward. It keeps that from happening quite as often. So um, I had a lot of KT tape on. And when I got ready to take it off in the shower, and I always take KT tape off in the shower. I never just peel it off because I have leg hair because I am an adult mammal. And it will sometimes peel leg hair off and that doesn't feel fun. Like, I don't want to wax. I'm not going to do it with my tape. Um, so I'll always do it in the shower. And this stuff would not come off in the shower. Absolutely would not come off in the shower. It was ridiculous. And I finally got it to peel off and it took skin with it. It not only took hair, which, you know, is to be expected. Like, you're going to peel hair off. Um, but it took skin. It took big chunks of skin around my knee and so, and then they scabbed over and then that hurt really bad. 
And I have no idea why it did it. I'm assuming it was maybe the combination of harsh adhesives because, you know, this stuff is branded to last for days and days and days on end. Um, and I think their stuff was actually branded to last for like up to three days. Because I know KT Tape has different ratings and other brands of kinesiology tape will have different ratings um, on how long it's supposed to last. And so I was like, great, perfect. I love this. I just peeled all of my skin off. And I was like, well, you know what? I like, I don't know why I thought this way, but I was like, okay, I am going to try this again. And I did it again and it took off an even bigger chunk of skin that time. And at that point, I just threw the whole roll in the trash can. There was like two thirds of a roll left. And I just threw it in the trash can. Um, and I don't know if it was a combination of like the menthol sitting underneath the tape on my skin for that period of time. I don't know if it was the kind of adhesive they used. I'm not sure what it was, but I have used several, several different varieties of both KT tape, um, like kinesiology tape, both KT tape brand and just other random brands, but none of them have had menthol in it. And so I'm attributing it to that. If any of you guys know or have any experience, drop it down in the comments because it was horrifying. I I don't remember if Sydney used it or not, but I, I it was a horrible, horrible thing. Um, But yeah, so if you are going to use kinesiology tape, definitely use a brand that you or someone you know is familiar with. Um. One of our past members, her mom is like a physical therapy assistant and she um, has taped me up before and I have no idea what brand it was, but it worked wonderfully. I loved it. I typically use KT tape. It's a little bit more expensive, um, but I also really like it and it does good things for me and my body when I am struggling to perform at guard um, because chronic pain and old injuries that didn't heal right. Um, so yeah, if you find a, a kinesio tape that has menthol in it, I would steer clear. Um, I could tell you, hey, the price was this much better than KT tape. I could tell you, oh yeah, like it stuck on for days. It did what it was supposed to, lifting my muscles and my skin and doing all the good things that KT tape is supposed to. Um, I could tell you, hey, it lasted for multiple days and then it didn't even want to come off in the shower. I could give it really, really good ratings in all of those. But the matter of the fact is like it hurt me and that should not happen. And so I, the reason I'm not doing this as an actual product review is one, I don't have the product. Two, I don't have the brand. I, I hunted on it. I hunted like all weekend when I got this idea to do this video. I hunted everywhere to find this brand and I could not find it anywhere. And so like, I don't know what it is. Um, so I can give this product really good ratings in all of my categories, but it did cause me personal injury. And I don't want you to have to deal with that because you're like, oh, a B plus, like that's passing grade. No, but like this is... This is like the equivalent of your teacher giving you a rubric and technically you did everything correctly, but you turned it in and like it was really personal and demeaning to the teacher. And even though everything was technically okay, it hurt them badly. Like I, I don't want to do that to you. So my recommendation is pick a brand that you or your personal trainer or somebody in your life has used before and can personally vet and use that. I am telling you, I like KT tape. I don't know if anybody's had an issue with KT tape. If they have, I haven't heard about it, but that is what I'm telling you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different than my normal video, but I don't think I could in, in good conscience give passing grades, even if the price was good, even if it did last for a really long time. I don't think I could in co good conscience give a product, a passing grade when it could cause you bodily harm. So I hope you like this. If there's anything else you want me to review, let me know down in the comments. If you liked this video, um, you know what to do and keep coming back every Monday. We'll try to have a new product review up for you. 
And don't forget to check out all of our other social media. You can find us at spintronicsguard.org. And that has a link to all of our other social media, our store, our winter guard programs, our summer clinic programs that are all virtual currently. <laughs> um, and yeah, so thanks for dropping in, guys.